Hey, this is Andrew with MTG Mint Singles, and today we're here to show you how to crack open a Beckett case. The tools I use are a flathead screwdriver and a pair of 10 snips. The reason why we are cracking the Beckett cases is they are not nines. I picked these up in uh, some collection purchases that I've done in the last, you know, few months. Um, I just don't think it's a good solution to sell these cards as graded. Uh, they're harder to move. Collectors aren't looking for these lower grades. It's much easier to sell the raw card. And it's not too difficult to do. Just about anybody can do it. Just have to be careful to not damage the card. So you want to take your pair of 10 snips and you want to cut right here. I'm just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Can't be damaging this... Uh, Pretty much new slash mint beta nightmare. Um, it's pretty good condition. You know, definitely right in there in the new slash mint, but definitely not going to demand a premium. So what I do is I start right up here in the top corner. Just take your 10 snips and you just cut it. Just like that. I'm going to take the screwdriver. Pry right in here. I didn't get enough of it off. Just want to come right here. Crack it a little bit more. See, there we go, guys. Hear that sound? So we got our screwdriver in here now. So I'm going to twist it. Hear that? Just very carefully. And then I'm going to get it a little further in. I'm going to lift it just slowly. And boom. Just like that. We got this bad boy out. Use a nice sleeve inside these Beckett cases. Nightmare is free. This is trash. Nobody needs it. Set this to the side right over here. Basically, we're just going to do the same thing three more times. It's a very easy procedure as long as you're careful. Remember, guys, not right here. Not right here. Always in the top corner. That might be good enough, guys, actually. See, got it in there. Be careful. Right. Not exactly according to plan. Not really worried about this label. So we got this. Just going to break it with my bare hands a little bit. Need to be careful, though. Work my way under the screwdriver, near the label. This is not an ideal situation, but should be fine. Carefully lift. Simple, simple, simple. Damage the label, who cares? As long as the card's good, that's all I care about. Boom. Card came out undamaged. It's definitely a new slash mint card. Just not worth anything extra with graded. So that is two for two. No damaged cards. Here we go, guys. Good job, me. Look at here. We have an even higher graded beta nightmare. But yet, not a nine. It's a damn shame. Boom, take off the corner. I'm gonna do this one upside down because that's just what it worked out. I slowly lift, work my way in. Just open the case. 
flip this back over. I'm really strong, so I don't really have this problem. Most people have to be really careful with the screwdriver, but once I can get it up enough, or I can get my hands on it, I just pull it up with my hands. I want to get the screwdriver anywhere near there. Another really nice card. This one just happened to be a little off-center. It doesn't really affect it on most sites when selling cards. But it's not going to demand a premium because it's, uh, it's not a 9. It's just that simple. Alright. Got a plateau here. Some people might say that I shouldn't crack it. But who are they? Scary, right? <laughs> Get my screwdriver under here again. This might be the easiest one so far. That simple. Boom. There we go. Some people uh, like to keep a card with the grade that they had, just to you know, kind of keep an ideal of uh, how basically how they grade over there at BGS. Cards are really nice. They all came out safe today. Start here. Beautiful card. All new slash mint, just not going to demand a premium when graded. It's not a problem. And that's pretty much the easiest way to break some cases, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please add, subscribe. Follow, comment, everything, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate you guys watching me.